All right, everybody, uh, Tow Boater 781 here. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to make some scent neutralizer, scent killer for walking to and from the deer stand, to and from the feeder, uh, back to your truck, back to your foil, or whatever the case may be. And you want to spray this once you get it mixed and let it sit for a little bit. You want to spray it from your knee down. Basically, anything that's going to be rubbing on the grass or, you know, low lying branches, whatever. <clears throat> if you have gloves on, uh, definitely spray the outside of your gloves. Um, both the, the front and the back, whatever, front and back. <clears throat> so anyways, what we're going to need, a piece of paper or a funnel, quarter cup of baking soda, all right, one 16 ounce bottle of 3% hydrogen peroxide. You don't use 99%, all right, that stuff is used in airplane fuel and stuff. You don't want that stuff on you. Anyways. About a half gallon of drinking water or distilled water, and of course a measuring cup. So, basically, what we did, we took a fork, poured a half or a fourth cup measuring cup of um, baking soda. And we're going to take this fork, make sure there's no clumps in it. Sometimes there's some hard clumps. And I'm all busted up and everything. Real good. All right, got that done. Now we're going to make a simple just. Hold your paper just like this with a nice easy little funnel. And put that right into our gallon jug of water, half gallon jug of water. <clears throat> Pour your baking soda in. Shake it off over there. <clears throat> and we're gonna put the lid on. Alright. And shake it up really good. Normally I'll sit here and shake this for a good while. Um, you want to use water that's fairly warm. So you don't want to use cold water. Oh my look, this thing probably has a hole in it. And it will build up pressure. Just to let you know that. As you can heard, it had a little pressure on it. You're going to pour the entire bottle. Some of you may have smaller knuckles. You can actually fit your knuckle into the peroxide and just bust it open on this heavy use fork. Anyways, you're going to pour your full 16 ounce bottle with 3%, 3% peroxide in there. Put our lid back on once more, and we're going to shake it up some more. Now, like I said, <clears throat> this will end up building up a little bit of pressure. <clears throat> so once I get done, I normally put it in a spray bottle, just a clean spray bottle, rinse it out with water or whatever, <clears throat> and. Once I do that, I leave the, the spray nozzle kind of loose. Not the actual nozzle itself, but where it screws onto the bottle. Just leave it kind of loose. Let's see if you can hear this. No? Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> it'll have some pressure on it. And if you leave it, leave it sitting, it'll, yeah. So anyways, just leave it a little loose. And mix that up real good. And Brody, out. Out. I think I have a spray bottle. Actually, I think my uh, other half might have thrown it away. So, anyways, I've got another spray bottle outside. Here. 
So anyways, <clears throat> just leave the lid off. And like I said, uh, so it doesn't build up pressure. And this works great. I've seen videos and seen it myself where <clears throat> you can spray it on you from knee down. And once you do that, you walk to your, to your stand or to your feeder. Carry it with you, okay? You can put it in a smaller spray bottle, whatever, for personal, personal size. <clears throat> Carry that with you. And once you do that, just let it sit. Like I said, leave the, leave the cap kind of loose, uh, the actual nozzle part, so it doesn't sit there and build up pressure. Uh, once you get done hunting or whatever, you can go to leave your stand, walk to your feeder, walk back to your vehicle, whatever. Make sure you spray from knee down once again, okay? Very important. Spray, spray, spray. You don't have to sit there and soak yourself, but you want to, you know, saturate your your boots and your pants and so forth. <clears throat> well, once again, we'll go over the ingredients one more time. All right. Quarter cup of pure baking soda. One 16 ounce bottle of hydrogen, 3%, hydrogen peroxide, 3%, not the 99. Um, measuring cup, fork, and about a half gallon of distilled or drinking water. Distilled water works, drinking water works, whatever. <clears throat> so if you have any questions or comments, uh, please subscribe and like the video. And any questions or comments, I'll answer them as quick and as easily as I can. Thank you. Have a good day.